hair is a mess. So let's just fix that before we continue. Okay, a little bit better. At you, I forget the question. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with the Giving Thanks book tag. If you guys don't know, today is Thanksgiving in Canada. So I figured I should probably make a tag giving thanks to all the bookish things because books are a big part of my life, so why not? The original person who created this tag, the video is now private, so I'm not going to be able to link them down below. I'll link the person whose video I did watch down below, so if you guys want to check her out, then go for that. So without further ado, let us get started. The first question is to name a book that made you thankful to live in your world instead of the book's world. And I am going with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I was going to either go with Divergent by Veronica Roth or Cinder by Marissa Meyer because both of those just would not be a fun time. But I thought that The Hunger Games was the most not fun because with my luck, honestly, I would be chosen for The Hunger Games and with my skill set, I'd be the first one to die. So we're going with The Hunger Games. The second question is to give thanks to a book that changed your perspective, and I am going with Speak by Lauren Halse Anderson. I absolutely adore this book. It's one of my favorite books. I think it's so beautifully written, and it sends such a huge message. And if you haven't read this book, please, please, please read it, because it is so incredible. It's about a girl named Melinda, and basically she is selectively mute after a incident happened at a party and she had to call the cops to break it up and then everybody ends up hating her and it's just it's such a beautiful story please read it if you haven't like you need to read this book you need to read it changed my whole perspective on life and how if you see someone and they're clearly going through something like you need to speak up and you need to try to help them some people are so mean for no reason and i just i don't understand it i just think everybody should love each other and i just i'm probably not the most normal 20 year old but I just I don't see a point of being mean to people I just I think we should all be friends question number three is what character would you be thankful for if they were your significant other and I had a couple options for this but the one that I'm going with is Captain Thorne from Crest by Marissa Meyer. I just love him so much I think he is so funny I think he would be such an adorable significant other. He's probably not the best one, but I think he would be a lot of fun, so I'm going with him. My runners-up were Levi from Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because he's just adorable and he's just would, he's literally the perfect boyfriend, to be honest. And I just, I want a Levi in my life. I pretty much have a Levi right now, so wink wink, hey, how you doing? I like you. He doesn't watch my videos though, so he won't see that, but the fourth question is, what character would you say thanks but no thanks to? I had a couple of these as well. One of them was Jacob from Twilight, because as beautiful as he is, just the whole wolf thing, I don't like hair, so like that would just get on my nerves. But the one that I'm going with is Will Herondale from the Infernal Devices trilogy. Okay, a lot of you are probably like, what the heck, Jan? He's amazing. I do agree, but... He is so similar to me that I think we would get on each other's nerves and it just would not go well so might as well just end that relationship now. As much as I love me some Will, I just could not deal with him as a as a lover. Just all the love and all the sarcasm, we would just clash. It just wouldn't go well. So I'm sorry Will, thanks but no thanks. The next question is to name a book that made you laugh out loud like your drunk Earl at Thanksgiving and I am going with Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I love this book. I mostly laughed at all of the parts with Mrs. Park in it. I think she's absolutely hilarious. I need like a spin-off series where it's just Mrs. Park because she's just so funny and every scene she was in I was sitting there dying because she just, everything she says is just so out there. I just love her. The next question is to name a book that made you so angry like your drunk Uncle Earl at Thanksgiving. And I am going with Burned by Ellen Hopkins. I love this book. Do not get me wrong. I loved it so much. I just got the sequel and I'm way too excited to read it. But the reason I hated this book was because of Peyton's father. He's such an asshole. He's just so mean for no reason. Every time he was in a scene, I just got so mad. The same with the dad from Eleanor and Park. I just, I hate him. Whenever it's like a mean parent figure, I'm just like, ugh, why? Treat your family with respect, please. Please. You're lucky enough to have a family. Come on. Like, I just, ugh. Final question is to say something that you are thankful for about the booktube community. One of the biggest things that I am 
extremely thankful for through booktube is the people who I've met or been able to talk to like for example Molly I love you so much you are the sweetest girl in the entire world and I just I've been so grateful that you're in my life and you just make me so happy and you're one of my very good friends and I just love you so much so thank you for always being there when I need you and we need to FaceTime again soon because we always miss our dates because we suck at this friendship thing but it's fine also just everything I've experienced with authors like PJ Ferguson he is one of the sweetest people I have ever had contact with he is so sweet and he just does so much for me and sends me books that he's written just because he wants my opinion and I just I feel like that is so sweet that somebody actually cares what I think same with DA Poopa he's writing another book and I'm a character in it like how crazy is that I wouldn't have had that opportunity if it wasn't for booktube so I just think it's so incredibly amazing also just everybody who leaves a comment on literally every one of my videos like it I find it insane that people actually want to watch me and they actually enjoy what I make because it's just kind of like a fun hobby for me like it's just something to do but people actually want to listen to what I have to say and I just I just love you guys and thank you so much for supporting me I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving even though most of you are like American and you don't have Thanksgiving until November but happy Canadian Thanksgiving eat some turkey for me even if it's not really your Thanksgiving. Do it anyways. I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.